Hi everyone, Ryan Shroud here for PC Perspective. Today we're going to take you through another P55 motherboard, the Gigabyte P55 UD5. Gigabyte's GA P55 UD5 is only the second in what I think would be a long line of Linfield-based motherboards to hit our test bench in the next month or two, but it does have some unique features and some interesting little add-ons that I thought I'd walk you through a quick preview before the CPUs are ready to launch late this summer. Gigabyte's P55 UD5 is their second from the top level motherboard. Only the UD6 will be offered as a higher priced, more feature rich motherboard than the offering we have here. And you can see it shares a lot of similarities with the other P55 motherboards that we have already seen. Obviously there's four DIMM channels here for the two-channel integrated memory controller for Intel's upcoming Linfield processor. You can see we've got um, three PCI Express by 16 slots. These two primary slots are of course based off of the PCI Express by 16 bandwidth that comes from the processor directly. If you have one graphics card installed, it'll run at a full by 16 bandwidth. If you have two in SLI or crossfire modes, it will run uh, by eight each. This third one is actually a by four lane that goes through the P55 chipset its, itself. Now the north bridge is actually housed up here underneath this heat sink. And under this heat sink down here, what would normally kind of look like the south bridge is actually uh, one of the more controversial issues. Under here we have the I.O. chips uh, like Marvell's SE, uh, 88SE 9123 SATA 6 controller. If you look at our SATA configuration, you'll see that we have six blue channels here, six blue SATA connectors. These are the six channels supplied by the P Intel's P55 chipset. These four white ones are currently on this board at least labeled SATA 3, SATA 6G, the 6 gigabit per second specification that's brand new and coming out. Now I'll, we talked about on the Asus motherboard that it offered a single chip that had two SATA pen or SATA controllers, SATA outputs for 6G on it. This one actually uses two of those Marvell chips for four ports. Unfortunately when this board actually re reaches mass production they are removing those Marvell chips and the SATA 6G option will be removed. We don't yet know if they're going to replace that with other Marvell or J Micron controllers in order to keep 10 SATA ports on the internal of the board here yet. This board does feature a lot of Gigabyte's power technologies that they dub ultra durable. This is a 12 phase power motherboard. It does use ferrite chokes. It's a six layer PCB. Only the higher end P55 UD6 will have an eight layer configuration on it. It does have the two ounce uh, copper in the PCB. So it is definitely built for uh, overclocking and stability at higher than stock speeds. The processor socket is also new. For anybody that has not seen a Linfield CPU installation, you can check out the other P55 motherboard preview that I did. But the mechanism is very similar to socket 775 or so I got 1366, the LGA connections for Intel's Core i7 parts, for example. Except this one has a, a little bit of a sliding mechanism to it, but otherwise it works pretty much the same. The pins are located on the motherboard and not the CPU. Though they are a little bit harder to see down here on this motherboard, there are integrated power, reset, and clear CMOS buttons at the base of the motherboard for easy access for DIY enthusiasts, people who like to do their overclocking and system building outside of the case. Although they are not uh, as well labeled as we'd like, the power button is obviously the biggest one, but at first it didn't even look like a button to us. These other two are labeled reset and clear CMOS in case you, you know, need to, to reset those settings if you've set your memory controller, your processor overclocking settings too high. If we look at the rear panel configuration here, you'll see there are some interesting additions compared to many other motherboards available today. There are two, four, six, eight USB ports. There are two FireWire connections on the back, one four pin, one six pin. And these two yellow connections here are actually USB powered eSATA, which will allow you to connect 
eSATA-based accessories like thumb drives without having to connect external power to them. So that's a, a nice addition. There's obviously two gigabit Ethernet connections, support for eight-channel eight analog audio, both optical and coax audio output, and a legacy PS2 port if you still need that as well. Gigabyte P55 UD5 looks like another solid addition to the Linfield platform lineup when it launches later this summer. And the only questions that really remain regard around the SATA 6G connections, whether or not Gigabyte will simply remove it and those SATA ports, or if they'll replace them with another controller. And obviously a lot of the debate and, and usefulness of these reviews will center around how much these motherboards are actually going to cost in relation to each other in relation to current x58 core i7 motherboards, I think we'll find that all of these are going to run a lot less expensive and thus be more accessible to any users or enthusiasts looking to finally upgrade to Intel's newer architecture. Thanks again for coming along in our short little preview of this Gigabyte P55 motherboard. I'm looking forward to being able to show you benchmarks and overclocking results later this summer. But for now, I'm Ryan Shrout with PC Perspective. So this is a motherboard and it's pretty awesome. Look at the stuff on it. Let's see the things on the end. Yeah. 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 Yeah.